What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another channel, another channel, another video on the channel. We're going to be taking a look at another training guide and this time it is going to be Dennis Law who is down as an 83 centre forward, 83 overall centre forward. Now look lads, this guy on the surface, right, he looks like he's just your average centre forward that's kind of small, that isn't going to be really too good. But man, his stats are insane. I think the only thing that lets down this car from being into the meta conversation is one or two stats that don't he hit the, the heights that they should hit. And then also the fact that he's got standard form and he is missing one or two key stats. But I mean, he's got everything that you could possibly want in a quick fire striker, right? I'm using Robbie Keane at the moment on my road to glory. This guy looks like a, you know, a massively like... Uh, improved version of Robbie Keane. I mean, if you stick a super sub on this guy and bring him in, you're just such an attack and arsenal with him. Like, you've got 90 jumps straight off the rip. So that's kind of where we're going to be training him up. Um, if anyone has been watching me recently, they'll see me scoring headers with Robbie Keane, and he's got no heading ability, but he has got that heading player skill. Uh, Dennis Law has that straight off the rip. He also has acrobatic finishing and first time shot, which means that he's going to get on the end of corners and crosses and flick ons. And if you're able to have a target man up front for Law to actually, you know, peel away from and to work off, this guy can be an absolute monster for you and can definitely rival some of the best center forwards, right? So let's get into the card because he's kind of a unique card in terms of his height, his player skills, and his stats, right? So firstly, we're going to have a look over on eFootball DB and we're just going to take a look at the 96 rated version of him right now this is one variation of it but this is roughly kind of how you're going to have to train him up right so we've popped 10 into finishing and shooting 11 into dexterity and then 8 into lower body and then passing and dribbling and aerial strength they get a little knock on as well but for me here right with this card the one big issue with this card you know that doesn't put him in comparison with the likes of Romario right even though he's got similar acceleration he's got similar everything really um you know finishing offensive awareness the dribbling and the balance are a bit of a concern for a player like this okay especially when he's a bit smaller and for the positions that he's going to be playing so that's one thing that kind of limits him down right now we're just going to give you a really quick comparison of somebody that's very similar so Latara Martinez right they're both goal poachers okay they've both got very similar player skills including you know finishing acrobatic finishing first time shot long range shooting heading and um, you can see here Latara has heading here as well but the big key difference between a player like Martinez that puts him more in line with Romario and Romanegi and Eto'o is the fact that he's got good dribbling, ball control, and balance. Now, if you are to boost up um, Dennis Law's dribbling a little bit more, you are going to have to lose out a little bit, especially to get that tight possession up. So that's just something to keep in mind. I think Dennis Law is more of like an assassin and a poacher, like a real poacher that you're going to be passing the ball to him and he's going to be shooting. Whereas with Lataro or somebody like Romario, you're passing the ball to one touch pass and run and, you know, little triangles, touch and go, peeling off the shoulder of the defenders. So it's kind of different um, play styles, even though the cards are extremely similar, okay? Now, for Dennis Law, if I'm going to take a look at his build here, right? As I said, this is a bit of a unique one. And I would say if you're looking for, you know, if you're just like looking to make him as part of your squad rotation, um, I would say probably build him this way, you know? Um, you've got 84 speed with stamina at 84 as well. You've also got 88 finishing and 95 offensive awareness and 90 acceleration. So it's an insane card. Obviously, he doesn't have unwavering form. So that's why I'm going to boost up the acceleration to 90 instead of leaving it at 88. Um, because I do want to get that balance up fairly high as well. Um, but for me, right, if you're looking to do something a little bit different here and have something different in your attack and arsenal, right? If you've got your solid two strikers up front or say you have you know Romario Mbappe say you are using Lewandowski say you're using Cristiano Ronaldo Neymar Messi whoever you're using up front right Haaland you know Oshman whoever if you've got your two strikers set that you don't really like changing or you like to play with these guys all the time I would probably build Dennis Law and I would say I would probably build any of the free legends if you've been playing the game for a while I would build any of the free legends that you get as kind of like super subs or impacts off the bench, right? And that's why I would switch up this card a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take down his finishing to around an 85, okay? Now you might ask, what's the point? Obviously, he's a finisher. You need him to be able to finish. Yeah, but I mean, if you can't finish with a finish a finishing stat of 85, then like I, I don't think that, you know, the, the stats are going to be the issue or the player is going to be the issue. It just means you need to get a little bit more comfortable in front of goal and you just need a little bit of luck every now and again. Plus, if we are using Dennis Law as an impact player and not as our main focal point, like, you know, in our main squad, 
then we're never going to be playing Dennis Law unless his form arrow is a minimum 85 or his form arrow is going to boost that up to 86, 87 or 88, depending on how you train him and depending on what his finishing stat ends up at, whether it's 85 or 86, okay? But I think for now we leave that at 85, okay? The next one is I'm going to take one away from passing because we don't need that, plus he has one touch pass. Now, where is he going to excel? Well, the biggest thing that he's going to excel on is going to be his jump and is going to be his header, okay? He is quite short, but if I'm bringing him on, I want him to be able to attack at all angles. I want him airily very good. I want him to be on the ground very good. And I want him to be able to finish his meat when he gets his dinner served up to him, right? So dexterity-wise, you've got 90 acceleration, you've got 95 offensive awareness, and you've got 79 balance. I'm going to pop that up one more to get the 80 balance up. That's going to make a little bit of a difference to the card, especially with the boost. And then in the air, I'm going to probably pop in a couple of more in here to get four into this if you want to go that route, and then I'm going to pop one more on to here. Now, a lot of people will probably ask, what is the point in putting the four into the goalkeeper? But the reason is, is that you actually do get a boost to it. Now, I'm going to leave that at 97. You could go 99 if you want to be, you know, when he's on a normal farm arrow, that he'll definitely be always 99. I think 97 and bring him on as a, um, you know, bring him on as an impact sub is going to be where he excels and then pop one more into shooting or else pop one more into dribbling if you want to go that route you're still going to get a 96 version of him but you've got 97 jump with 96 offensive awareness 85 finishing and 91 acceleration with 79 dribbling and the lowest dribbling stat at 75 with ball control so i think that's a really good card if you wanted to switch it up slightly and this is something that i would probably do i would probably leave his lower body at four okay that's going to free up a couple of more stats. You could even get this guy to 88 finishing, which is insane if you wanted to go that route, if you struggle a bit uh, in front of goal, or else you could go this route and have his dexterity at 98 with his balance at, at 82 and acceleration at 93. So realistically, lads, there's so many ways that you can train him up, even with the dribbling. You can pop three more into dribbling to get his dribbling up. I potentially would probably leave his dribbling at the four mark there because I'm not too concerned about that if I'm going to be training him in that special way and I pop one more into finishing. 98 offensive awareness, uh, 93 acceleration, 97 jump with 86 finishing, 84 header. You get the boost. You have all the player skills. This is a monstrous card, right? Like if you are to compare some of these cards, right? Like, like Tower Martinez, Martinez is never going to hit these unique stats, right? Yeah, he'll have finishing, offensive awareness, acceleration, balance, very, very key stats for a center forward that you're going to be running gunning. But the thing with Dennis Law is he's just going to be a bit of a menace when you bring him on with 25 minutes to go because you can lump the ball in from him. And because his, his stats are so high in jumping and also offensive awareness with the acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, first time shot, everything like that and heading, that player skill is key. Like, I think that he will be an absolute monster. So let me know what you think. That's just a couple of builds for him. Bit of a different video, but let me know what you liked. Probably went through it a lot quicker than I usually do. But let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of Law. You can always retrain him and, and, and go again if you want to make him a more traditional center forward. But I definitely think this guy could be, you know, an absolute monster up front.